This is going to be a quick video on Wim Hof method, TUMO, box breathing. Okay, so all of those are very similar. It's like comparing apples to oranges to grapes. They're all fruit, but they're all a little bit different. So as usual, we'll go ahead and we'll jump into it. So. When you learn the Wim Hof and the Tumo and the box breathing, there are four things to understand about your breathing. Which these are four of my favorite words: focus, tempo, control, and awareness. And once you understand the definitions and how it's integrated in your breathing. It will help you understand. So we'll start with the Wim Hof. This can be done usually sitting down, lying down, or whatever you're comfortable with. So it's generally done through the inhale through the nose or inhale through the mouth. It's kind of like rolling the breath. It's almost like a ring, and generally that's done about 20 to 30 reps in a row, typically three to four rounds. And on the last breath, I'll do one round of that. So I've already done about 10, so. And I like to rock while I do it, because I'm pulling and pushing. If you get lightheaded, you can, you know, lower the tempo, or if you don't feel it enough, you can increase the tempo. And on that last breath, you'll hold it for maybe about five seconds, ten seconds, and then you'll slowly release through your lips, parched lips. And as I do that, I'm tightening my stomach and all the air is out. And then you just hold. And generally when you start, it's kind of hard to talk while I hold. But it's about 10, 20, or 30 seconds. And then you just hold. And you kind of feel everything relaxing and you feel what I call like the freeze. And then as you slowly come back, you can just like the inhale through the nose, out through the mouth, and you slowly, almost like a computer or something, regenerating as you start back up. And you do that about, like I said, about three or four rounds. So next we'll talk about TUMO. TUMO is very similar. And I like to do the TUMO inhaling through the nose. exhaling through the mouth. And it's about the same. You can start with about 10. And then you swallow the breath and you have a big round belly like a balloon. And once again you just letting that air out of the balloon. And you might feel lightheaded, you might feel this tingling in your fingertips, you might feel this tingling in your toes or throughout your body, and you might feel your body relaxing when you do all of these. Just do a couple rounds. It's also known the Wim Hof or Tumo might be might be 
called the breath of fire because you can increase your body temperature up to about seven or eight degrees and people that get really good at it can increase their body temperature and their heat and their focus and there's a point in between your belly your belly button and your waistline it's a midpoint right here this might be a chakra or um, I read a book on pressure points it's right here it's the middle point so that's the point where you want to try to store the air when you practice the breathing so now we'll go to the box breathing so to me the box breathing is probably to me the most difficult because it it's it's like really controlled so you would inhale for about four seconds hold for four seconds exhale for four seconds and then hold again so it's like a square or a box and each of those is four seconds and you can increase the rate or the tempo as you breathe so it would be Hold. Inhale. Hold. Hold. And it's actually practiced by um, Navy SEALs. They learn box breathing or square breathing. It helps them get through challenging situations and I think all of them can actually help us in our daily lives when we you know we might get in a tight spot or a stressful, a stressful situation and if we're able to go back to our breathing because we're always breathing from the day that we're born to our very last breath and once we really learn to focus on our breath it can help us you know, in those tough spots, and it can also help us relax and um, regain control. So I'll do another box that just, I like to count it, hold. And try to space, it's like little small increments of the inhale and the exhale. Try to make that the same for, it's almost like quarter notes in music in the box breathing. But hopefully this will get you started on the Wim Hof, the Tumo, and the box breathing. And of course when you exhale, you want your stomach to go in. And when you ex, or when you inhale, you want your stomach expanding and getting the air in the body but hopefully this will get you started and um, I look forward to seeing you in the next one